So I've just had my weekly food shop delivered by Tesco and instead of doing a regular grocery haul this week I thought I'd mix it up and do something a bit different and show you a few items that make their way onto my shopping list every single week. Now I'm not talking basics like bread and milk and cereal and things like that but more the things that no matter what I have on my meal plan for some reason I always end up buying them and the things that are real staples for our family so I hope you enjoy that as opposed to a regular grocery haul. I'd love to hear from you as well. Do you like grocery haul videos because I film them every so often but I feel like my shopping list is always quite samey and I would hate for those videos to become boring and I'm always very conscious of it. I like watching other people's for inspiration and maybe I feel that way about mine because I'm so familiar with the things that I buy each week. That doesn't make any sense does it? But let me know anyway in the comments if you do like food shop and meal plan videos. I would love to have that feedback from you. If you're new to my channel then hi I'm Kate and I film lots of food and recipe related content over here on my channel as well as routines and just general vlogs and mum life stuff so if you'd like to subscribe that would be amazing I'd love to have you and don't forget to click the notification bell as well so that you're made aware when I post a new video. So today I'm going to be showing you 10 items that make their way onto my online food shop pretty much every single week. I filmed a video very similar to this about a year or maybe two years ago and it seemed to be something that you guys enjoy. So if you enjoy this one and you want me to film more of this kind of thing then hit the like button so that I know that you enjoy this kind of content and I know what kind of thing you want to see. So the first item I'm going to show you is a new discovery of mine and I've become a little bit obsessed with them and I don't know if you're the same but when I find something that I love and it's a new thing, I do become a little bit obsessive and will eat it every day until I get sick of it and then I move on to something else. These are the current obsession for me. They are Strong Roots Cauliflower Hash Browns. These, I'm sure I've mentioned these actually in another video before, but these are amazing. I think they're so tasty. I love hash browns but I feel like these are healthier. They're definitely lower in calories. They are majority cauliflower. There is some potato in there as well. And yeah, they're just really, really good. They're vegan, low in fat. So if you're trying to do a healthier version of a cooked breakfast, for example, these would be really good. I've been known just to have these with a salad on the side for lunch as well. And they just bulk out a meal without it being too heavy. I feel like too much potato can be quite a lot. Next up, and another relatively new find for me, are the Linda McCartney veggie sausages. Now Dylan and I tend to prefer vegetarian sausages. Well, Dylan doesn't eat pork at all, and I just tend to prefer the vegetarian version as well. And since we've discovered these, it's fair to say we've been through quite a few boxes of them. They're not the cheapest, but occasionally you get them on offer, so I will stock up then. But at least one box will make its way onto my shopping list every single week. So if I'm doing bangers and mash or something with sausages for the rest of the family, Dylan and I will have these instead and I honestly don't feel like I'm missing out by switching to these. I find them really tasty. They are a little bit drier in texture but I quite like that and I just think they're a really good alternative if that is what you are looking for. Also I should say that in our quest to find the perfect veggie sausage I think Dylan and I have tried every single brand currently available on the market and these were by far our favourite. So another frozen item and the last of the freezer stuff are these mango chunks. I buy these every week to make smoothies for the kids and for me as well actually. I tend to pour myself one and then one of the little ones will steal it but I try to have a smoothie a day. These with a banana and some ice cubes and some almond or oat milk just makes the perfect smoothie and it's so convenient. I'm not a massive fan of frozen berries in smoothies. I find them quite tart and I don't know lots of seeds in the smoothie which the kids don't like either so I just think mango is a really nice alternative and nice and sweet too with the banana so I don't feel I need to add any honey or anything else to it. So next on the list are ground almonds and since lockdown started I and the rest of the world have been making a lot of banana bread and I was sent by a friend the best recipe for banana bread that I've ever tried and we've tried a few over the last few months this one is incredible and I'm fairly sure it's simply because it uses ground almonds and I put chocolate chips in it too, which leads to my next item that is always on my shopping list. A, because I want to make banana bread, but also I've found that to have a bag of these in the cupboard stops me from eating half a pack of biscuits if I get a sweet craving. I will just have one or two chocolate chips out of the bag and that just 
takes away the craving and then I don't think about it so much until a bit later on and then I might have to have another couple. But I always buy these either for baking or just for having a bag in the cupboard for me to snack on when I'm having a moment of weakness and dark chocolate chips are by far the best. Milk chocolate are the ones that I put in the banana bread, dark chocolate for snacking on in the cupboard. The next item that is on my shopping list every single week without fail is sourdough. As I've got older, I've found that my tummy just can't seem to handle bread very well. I go through phases, I feel. Sometimes it's okay, and then other times it'll just cause a lot of pain and discomfort. So I find that sourdough doesn't have that effect on me, so I kind of stick to this. So I'll always buy it every week. This one from Tesco is really good, but the best one is the Waitrose sourdough bloomer i think it's called that is the tastiest this one is okay and it's fine for every day but the waitress one when i do a shop with avocado is my favorite i will have this with avocado or scrambled egg or i will just put some chopped cherry tomatoes on top make like a bruschetta thing with it i just find it super simple and really really tasty and no one else in the family eats it so i get to enjoy this to myself but one tip is to put it in the freezer because it does seem to go off quite quickly. So after a day or so, I will pop the rest of the loaf in the freezer and just toast it as and when I need it. Next up, avocados. I fell out of love with these for a little while. I think I overdid it, like I probably will with the cauliflower hash browns, but I stopped eating them all the time and I didn't buy them for a good few weeks. But for the last couple of weeks, they've been on there every single week and I'm loving having them again. Mainly because I like to have them with the sourdough, but we also eat a lot of Mexican food, so it's just good to have them on hand in case I wanna make guacamole or just have them on the side with a salad. So avocados without fail every single week are on my shopping list. Speaking of Mexican food, every week I will pick up a sachet of fajita or some sort of Mexican seasoning mix just because it makes it so easy to create any sort of Mexican dish. I've tried a few new ones lately which I will be sharing with you on the channel so click subscribe so you don't miss them but this is actually specifically for chili but I find you can use this with anything. You could use it for fajitas or tacos or any Mexican dish to be honest but I just find it really handy to have this in the cupboard and I've started stocking up on other spice mixes as well i shared one in a grocery haul recently which is like a chinese chicken marinade and i've always got at least one of those on my shopping list too because of our love of mexican food every single week i will pick up a tin of taco beans they don't do these everywhere this is obviously from tesco and i think sainsbury's do them but in a lot of other stores they have just red kidney beans in a chili sauce which isn't as good because my kids don't like the kidney beans they will pick those out of here well my younger two will the older two are fine they'll pick out the kidney beans and eat the others so what other beans are in here that they don't mind there's pinto beans cannellini beans haricot beans and black eyed beans and for some odd reason they'll tolerate those but they pick out the kidney beans so i will always get these if i'm doing a shop at tesco and stock up and get a few tins in case i can't get them elsewhere these are so versatile I use these in chili, obviously, any Mexican dish. If I'm doing a Mexican chicken, I'll chuck a tin of these in. They're great for bulking out a chili if you're coming to the end and you only have, say, one or two portions. Just chuck a tin of these in and you've got enough to feed a family of four or five just from adding these. These are also really good in quesadillas with some cheese. What else do I use them in? Salads, soups, you name it. I think they're a brilliant product and a great thing to have in your cupboard. Another tin that always makes it onto my shopping list is coconut milk. Again, I find it really versatile. I use it obviously in curry. I've recently nailed a katsu curry sauce recipe after having sworn by the Waitrose sachets of katsu sauce for months. They were all I would use. Now I've found a recipe that beats the Waitrose one, if I'm honest. It really is the closest thing to the Wagamama one that I've ever tried and it has coconut milk in it. So I always make sure I have it because we are big katsu fans in this house. I also have a great soup recipe that uses coconut milk as well. So I'll always make sure that I pick up a tin every week. And the last item that I buy every single week in my food shop is maple syrup. I have been using this so much more lately. I have it on my porridge every day, but I've also been putting it in coffee instead of sugar. And I don't know if that's any better for you or not, but I find I only use a little bit and it's so sweet that it sweetens my coffee without feeling like I need to put a lot in. So I would typically have a teaspoon of sugar and there's no way I put a teaspoon of this in. So I don't know how that balances out in terms of health and how 
bad or good it is for you but I like the taste it gives to my coffee as well. And you never know when the urge for pancakes or French toast is gonna hit, so always best to keep one of these in my cupboard. So those are 10 items that are on my food shopping list every single week without fail. I'd love to hear from you. What three items do you always add to your shopping basket outside of the regular staples? I would love to hear from you. Let me know in the comments below. And give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, just so I know that you enjoy this kind of thing. And feel free to comment as well to let me know if you like grocery hauls, you prefer something a little bit different, or if there's any other video idea that you'd like to see from me, please let me know. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.